Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. I get questions all the time about my favorite hair care, how I do my hair and all the things, which I understand because why not? Um, so I figured I would just show you guys absolutely everything that I use and I will have product links to everything down below. Some of it can be found on Amazon, some of it's Sephora directly to the product, however, but it will all be down there for you all's, for your all's convenience so you can just click and buy. Um, I will say, honestly, naturally, my hair is pretty good. I was just born with like pretty good hair. Thank you, mother and father. Um, I do get my hair done. I get my hair trimmed probably like every six-ish weeks. I try to get my hair trimmed. I've been getting long layers and then face framing layers as well. Uh, I do tone my hair at home. I use Glaze, which I actually did a sponsorship with them like months and months ago. But I use their products still because um, anytime that I get highlights in my hair, it pulls brassy really quickly. And so rather than using blue shampoo all the time, I just tone it at home so I actually just toned it not the past time no I did tone it the last time I washed it which was I think yesterday or the day before um so this is what my hair looks like whenever it's toned I'll show you guys my shampoo and conditioner I also have another video that I've done um talking all about my hair care so I will link that below make sure you reference that video also it, like coupled with this one because I still use those shampoos and conditioners the shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to show you guys is uh something that I just started using but love. As a matter of fact, this whole hair care brand is, and it's not sponsored by them, but I do wish it was. So um, let me start off with the products that I originally purchased. So this is the first product I got from them. This is the Day Hibiscus Wave Spray. If you hear screaming, uh, it's Labor Day and my father is off work and he's playing with my sister downstairs and they're having the time of their lives. We're playing cowboys and Indians. They're just really out here living their best life. So anyway, this is the Day Hibiscus Wave Spray. It says weightless hydrating formula creates soft, effortless waves. And that literally is exactly what it does. So I love a wave spray. What is this hair doing? Can you not act a fool on a hair video? Anyways, uh, that is something that I love. Like I love a good wave spray. I love to have like that wavy beachy look. My natural hair has like very, it's, it's like beachy wavy. Like that's just how I would describe my natural hair. Very voluminous curly s but not like these kind of curls very just like beachy and so i used to use the not your mother sea salt wave spray for like a million and ten years but it dried the heck out of my hair so i picked this up whenever i was at sephora one day um actually before i was about to go on a date i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure i did uh anyways and they were like oh we've heard so many people love that like we really think you'll love that blah blah well honestly i had like really low expectations for it i was like i'm not that interested in a wave spray like who really gives crap about wave spray a me apparently i do because i use it all the freaking time it is absolutely wonderful i use it as a volumizing product i use it as a wave spray i use it as hairspray i use it for like a lot of different things because here's what i like about it it gives you that hold it gives you that volume it gives you that grit without the feel i don't know what's in it i don't know what kind of hocus pocus they got going on in this bottle i don't know what kind of potion it is but it do be doing the right things so love that um, so I love that it doesn't provide your hair with like the feeling of grit, but it gives it the grit that it needs to help like hold a curl, hold product in it and to look really pretty all day long. So if I'm like, okay, I need a little bit more texture at my root, then I'll grab it. I'll pick my roots up and then spray it. And then I'll be like, okay, I feel like I have a lot more volume. Um, now that I used my wave spray, you know what I mean? Like it just gives your hair like a zhuzh. If I were the creator of this product, if I were Miss Day, I would be like, Miss your zhuzher. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really know how I pronounce that or spell that. Yeah, I don't know how I would spell that. But this is a hair zhuzher. So if you're interested in your hair being zhuzhed, this is going to be the one for you. Okay, that's going to be the one for you. Moving on. So I picked that up, loved it. And I thought, well, Miss Day Day, I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to give you another chance. If you let me down, you're done. Okay, so this is the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. It says it smooths while styling, blow dry prep, and defines curls. This is what it looks like. All the day packaging is really cute. I actually would love to try their prickly pear oil. I just have not picked it up yet for some unknown reason. All their stuff smells absolutely delicious. And it's made with really good ingredients, sulfate, phthalate free, all the things. Um, so anyway, I picked this up because like I said, I do have naturally like wavy hair. So I was like, let me just, let me just get it. Let me just try it out. And so what I did was after I got out of the shower, I didn't brush my hair or anything because you know, if you have curly hair, like that's just not the vibe. And it's not really curly. It's just like, if I brush it, it's going to get frizzy still. And it's just not going to look as good as if I didn't brush it and just leave it alone. So I get probably like a dime size amount of this, rub it between my fingers, flip my head over and scrunch my hair. And what this does, it really just defines my curls more. But a lot of the times I'll find that if I use a curl defining product, it weighs my hair down and doesn't look as naturally curly and it's like naturally as pretty as I want it to. But this product doesn't do that. It doesn't weigh your hair down at all. It doesn't provide any like, I don't know, 
clumpiness of curls. It just defines what curls you do have and makes them look a little bit better. And also gets rid of a lot of frizz, I've noticed. And so I love that about this product. And so I was like, well, in my recent Sephora haul, if you watched it, if you haven't, go watch it. I picked up the Day Shampoo and Conditioner and it was my first time using it yesterday. Also, it's pink. Not only is the packaging pink, but the product inside is pink. How cute is that, be honest? So, um, I mean, I really didn't expect much. I was just like, it's a shampoo and conditioner, but I am an influencer, if you will. And so I was like, I need to be trying things out. I need to be seeing what's good. Also, it just gives me an excuse to buy new things, okay? So it says, um, let's see, use a generous portion of the product, lather and rinse well. For a better lather, make sure your hair is completely soaked before applying. Why am I reading the directions? I thought I was reading something about it. Oh, it was on the box. I'm a moron. Anyway, they're just supposed to really be nice, natural shampoo and conditioners or a shampoo and conditioner that just hydrates your hair, gets out the crap that you don't want in your hair that's going to weigh it down. Whenever I washed my hair yesterday, it felt really good. It had a ton, a ton of volume, a ton of volume. And I didn't use any volumizing products whatsoever. And I feel like still even today, I like still have a good amount of volume. But the only thing I put in my hair is day. I used the wave spray and I used the shampoo conditioner. Um, actually, I guess it was two days ago. How about that? How about that? Stunning. Wonderful. Um, I do love it. And I will continue to use it. I'm going to Orlando later this week. And I'll be taking these with me. I just feel like they're really nice and reliable. I also love the packaging. I love the pump packaging. Okay, moving on to hair toner. This is the Glaze Super Color Conditioning Gloss in the shade Blazing Brown. I have talked about this product before, and I actually work with them on a sponsored video, but this is not sponsored. Um, I was reading on their website, like after the sponsored video, because you can use this, you're supposed to use it on like damp hair, use it everywhere. It's supposed to give you like a glossy shine, rich color, etc. You can pick whatever kind of color you want, or they have clear. I have the shade Blazing Brown, like I said, but I was like, I just need certain parts of my hair to be toned, because I was like, I don't want all of it to be like super dark because I do have highlights and like the bottom of my hair and then I have like face framing highlights which is a little bit darker um than it normally is right now because I used more what I did with it though because I was like I want to have more control over it. I don't want to use like toner all over my entire head you mix it in your shampoo and conditioner and then you leave it on for a tad rinse it boom you get the effect of like no brassiness around my face because it was very brassy before <laughs> excuse me it was very brassy before, and I was like, I just need to tone that down a little bit. So the next few times that I wash my hair, it'll wash out, and I'll have the brassiness come back. I'd say in like one to two washes, it'll be exactly like how I want it to look. It's a little bit dark for me right now, um, but it's stunning. Keeps your hair feeling really healthy, really hydrated, really stunning. I need to drink a coffee, honestly. My bad habit is I make coffee before my videos, and then I talk and talk, and then I forget to drink it, you know? So that's that. But anyway, I like mixing it with my shampoo and conditioner. I probably just do like a quarter size amount in both. Rinse it, or not rinse it, mix it, put it all throughout my hair. And then for my conditioner, do the same, but I keep my conditioner in the ends of my hair. So that's that. The last product I have as far as like hair care products, remember, like I said, go watch that other video because I talk a lot about, more about other shampoos and conditioners. Sometimes I mix my shampoo and conditioner. I'm a Christy cocktail girly. Um, this is the Eco Style Professional Styling Gel. This is the Argan Oil one, and it's a water-based maximum hold for all hair, hair types. Um, this is what it looks like. I picked this up on Amazon. I'm actually, like, 100% sure that it was below $4. And I picked this up for my sleep buns. I'm a sleep bun girly. I just am. It's who I am. Um, I have a lot of hair. I have a ton of hair. And it's long, and it's fairly thick, and it's fine, so it, um... I was going to say wrinkles. It tangles. It tangles really quickly. And so I like to use something whenever I'm doing a slick bun that's just like, let's put it up. Let's slick the bun. Let's slick the ponytail, whatever, whatever I'm doing. And I want it to be slicked. I love this because it gives you that very, very shiny look without looking greasy. And 100%, 100% my hair is greasy whenever I'm doing these type of buns and stuff. But it doesn't make your hair look greasy. It's not like, oh, her hair is so filth. What's the reason? Her hair is so filth and that's why she's doing it. It's like, She's a classy, classy girl, and that's why her hair looks like that. You know what I mean? It's giving Kate Middleton. It's giving Audrey Hepburn. It's giving Jackie O. Did you know her last name was Jackie Onassis? Did you know about that? I was fully unaware. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to have to pause this video, actually. I've returned. I feel better. <laughs> Anyways. Actually, I don't. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's talk about 
products. Let me get a drink of coffee. <laughs> okay. Everyone and their mother knows what this is. Everyone and their mother probably already has one of these, but if you do not have one or you're looking for a new one or a better one, this one is really, really, really good. I got this on Amazon. I don't actually know the brand. Like, I literally don't know. I'm going to have to look at my past Amazon orders because I don't know. I think it was around $30. I'm sure I probably did not pay more than $30 for this unit. And I love it. I feel like it does. It is like the perfect um, barrel size for my hair. Now, for reference, here's my hair. But I feel like a lot of them are too big or a lot of them are outrageous or just like quite literally not the vibe. So I found this one on Amazon. Love it. Heats up really quickly, cools down really quickly as well. Um, it gives me that look that I want. Now, a lot of the times to alleviate some of the heat on my hair, if I'm going to do this look, I'll plan it a few days in advance or I'll plan it the day before and I will spritz my hair with some water, some detangler, something like that to get it damp. And then I will go ahead and braid my hair in really tight braids. So when I take it out, all I have to do is hit specific spots with this and it gives me that very crimped, beautiful, like wavy look. Love it. Love it. So the next one is this here thingamajigger. Okay. Now, specifically you can get these that are i believe the slip brand which i can link down below but i got mine off shein and they also have them on amazon but what you want to find because my mom my mom ordered one on amazon that was like a uh, it was hard in the middle and you don't want that want, want one that's hard in the middle this is like um polyfill in the middle and now mine did come with two it came with a clip to hold it at the top what you do if you've never seen this i'm not going to do a tutorial but like you just put the clip right here to hold it in place and then you wrap your hair around it you want to make sure your hair is damp but not too damp like I would say 90% dry and then you wrap your hair around it. There's a million and 10 tutorials. Um, Lily, Lily Brooke something is Lily Brooke Vander. I don't remember. She's like the one who came up with this. She started or the one who I saw it from and she had um, a robe tie and she used it like that. And then they came out with those and then they have the two little scrunchies at the bottom where you just tie it up. Anyway, I love that product for heatless curls. It gives me very big voluminous curls, but it, I feel like a lot of the times for me, it's hit or miss. If I put too much water on my hair, then it's like not working right. If I don't put enough, then my hair gets really frizzy. It's just not the vibe. However, if I, you can get it right, it takes a few times of like practice to be able to do it right. But if you can get it, it's absolutely phenomenal and also alleviates a lot of the heat damage on your hair. Speaking of heat, dang it, I left that over there. Darn. Okay, speaking of heat, this is what I use all the time, all the time. I use my Dyson Airwrap too, but I feel like my Dyson Airwrap doesn't really, it's only good if my hair is already damp. If my hair is already damp or if I want to re-dampen my hair, then it's really good. But if not, that's not the vibe because I will curl my hair. It'll look like I just got a blowout. It will look amazing. And then it will fall in two hours. And it's like, well, what did I pay $600 for? And what, what did I get? A temporary blowout? No, thank you. So these are Remington. I think that you can get these on Amazon still. That's where I purchased mine. They have two different sizes. They have this size right here, which I don't exactly know the exact inch of or if it even is. I'd say it's about an inch. And then the smaller size as well, which is yay big. So um, that's what comes in it. I think these were around $43, something like that. I use these all of the time. I love them. I love the packaging of them. I have some other hot rollers I don't love. A lot of times I feel like hot rollers are sketchy because you're like, I'm going to burn my finger off and I'm never going to have a finger again because I burn it off on a hot roller. I do feel that way about a lot of them. I don't feel that way about this one. They have a very like specific packaging, I guess you would say, um, that prevents that from happening. And I've never been burned with these, but these do a really good job of holding, like creating curls that hold in my hair. That's actually what I use today. And if I'm wanting like a very big voluminous look, this is what I always opt for and I get the best results with it. Kind of the same thing. My hair just kind of doesn't hold product or not hold product. doesn't hold curl all that well. So if I'm going to do something like this and I want it to last, I do have to use something like a wave spray or something that's going to provide my hair with a little bit of grit. I got the hiccups because my hair is naturally like really soft and silky. Um, that's just kind of the hair texture that I have. So if you ha are somebody that has naturally um, more coarse hair or you have um, bleached hair, this is probably something that will work amazing for you and that you would probably really love so definitely check these out especially if you like that big voluminous wave kind of look which i love these are phenomenal and then the only other thing that i was going to tell you guys about i actually left over here so i'll have to go get it as far as heat styling products go is this t3 curling iron so i picked this up i paid my own main meat for this um curling iron but then they actually i'm on their pr list I love T3. I love T3. They've sent me a ton of stuff and I really appreciate them and love them. But this specifically is one of my favorite products. 
um, that I used forever. So this is their interchangeable curling iron. So it comes with three different heads and then you get the base, obviously, and you just plug it in, plug it in. Wait a minute. Watch me literally not be able to do it. Okay, there you go. And then to lock it, you just turn this and it locks. It makes a little locking noise. Now, I'm not the best at actually using the curling iron with like the, the clamp part. I was never taught that. I was never taught how to do that. Thank you, Mother. Um, but I just use it like a wand and just wrap my hair around it. I do feel like these hold a curl really well. And then also, I don't feel like it's that bad of a price because you're getting three different um, sizes. So that was the medium uh, barrel. Here's the large barrel. And then here is the smaller barrel. I've never used a smaller and I've never used a larger. I have only used the mid-size barrel. She's my favorite. She is expensive, but I mean, you get three curling irons in one and they're interchangeable. You know what I mean? So if you're like, I want to have really big voluminous waves one day, you might use the bigger one. Or if you want tiny ones, you use the smaller one. You know what I mean? It makes sense. So that's that. The only other thing they have is a hair dryer that I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So I've talked about before. I usually never blow dry my hair, but whenever I do blow dry my hair, I always do it on either cool or like a really low setting. So then this brand reached out to me called Zuvi. And they I actually kept this box because I was like, whenever I talk about this, I want to be able to tell like the exact details of this so that's it they said they sent me like an email and they were like we want you to try this would you be interested in it blah blah, blah. and i was like e yes i would because listen to this so it's patented it has patented light care and it's also like helps to cut that their company helps to cut out like their carbon footprint and whenever i use my dyson i feel like it gets hot hot like very very hot so uh in the box you get the um zuvi halo hair dryer you get a quick start guide and zuvi hair brochure then you get a diffuser, styling, concentrator, and then a gentle attachment. But here's what the, the claims were, and here's what I've been testing it out for. So it says, a faster drying, shinier, healthier hair, lightweight, color, temperature, and it's energy efficient. Whenever I dry my hair, okay, what is this piece of hair doing? It's offending me. Stop that. Um, whenever I dry my hair, I get hot and I get bothered because I'm like, first of all, it's hot. I don't like this. Second of all, I feel like I'm roasting my hair off. So that's not my personal journey. So here it is, this is the box. And then I used it, I think, think three times so far. And I really, really like it a whole lot. So this is what the hairdryer looks like. It gets, definitely gives me like supersonic vibes. But here's the thing, whenever you use it, there's this crazy color that comes on, which I'll show you guys. And it talks about all like the light therapy and that whole sort of thing. And so it says there's a care mode there, which is for optimizing your hair health while maintaining a fast drying speed, a fast mode, which is optimized for drying speed while still leaving your hair healthy, a soft mode, which is softer airflow and less light for those with sensitive scalps, style mode for uh, the use with the style concentrator, and then cool mode, hold the cool mode button to tr trigger a burst of cool air. And you get the diffuser, the styling concentrator, and the gentle attachment. So this is what it looks like, like I said. Whenever you turn this on, there is a lot. And then I was reading about the lot so I could tell you guys the exact right like thing. So it says, unlike traditional hair dryers that are extremely hot and bake your hair, Zuvi Halo uses light or light care technology to quickly dry the water on the surface of your hair while leaving the hair inside hydrated and healthy. The light care technology is inspired. Think of it not like air drying your hair or think of it like air drying your hair on a walk outside, but at a much faster rate. So then it says that there is always like a risk for heat damage whenever you're drying your hair, obviously. And so what they wanted to do was like still be able to use heat, but use it at a much lower temperature. And it says many hair dryers use it heat at 140 degrees and up, which increases the risk of damaged and overdried hair cuticles. Cuticles serve as the shield for the hair cortex, which leaves strength, elasticity, and color, or which gives strength, elasticity, and color. Where there's a break in the shield, it allows damage to incur, occur. So the temperature they use is 111, which is a heck of a lot lower than most um, hair dryers and like most hair products in general. Uh, it has hair hydration. It says dry with the light and leaving the internal cortex feeling hydrated, giving you healthier, shinier hair. And then it's 680 watts and a traditional hair dryer is 1700 watts. So and then whenever you get it, it comes with like a brochure and tells you exactly like how to use it and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, I'm not big on drying my hair, but whenever I do dry my hair, I want it to be done quick and I don't want to have damage done to my hair. And I have these crazy pieces. I'm sure if you've watched a vlog, you've probably seen them. Anytime I work out, anytime I get sweaty, it, literally anytime, just like fully anytime these days, um, my hair does indeed act a fool. If I get out of the shower and I don't dry these pieces right here down, like these little baby pieces, crazy, absolutely insane, absolutely feral behavior feral, feral behavior from my hair. So I do indeed always have to dry those down. And they're very 
like brittle parts of my hair because they're baby hair. You know what I mean? So like they're not very strong. They haven't been through things yet. So I always want to find something that I feel like does a good job of keeping my hair healthy and shiny and cute, but not damaging my hair. So whenever they sent me this, they were like, we just want you to try it out. Like give your own specific opinion, give your own whatever. Like we just want to hear your testimonial. So it's got the care button, the fast button, soft stop, the soft button and the style button. The ones that I used are the care. I always use the care because I'm like, Bestie would care for our hair. You know what I mean? And then I used the uh, fast button as well one day because I just wanted to tr test it out. So I've been using it. I love it. I will show you guys like a clip of me using it. But I want to see if there's anything else I was going to show you all um, just to make sure. But I just love that it doesn't get up to as high of a temperature. I love that. And I love that it's not as many watts, but it still dries your hair really quick. But I will show you guys um, the clip in throw it up so you will be able to see like what it looks like me drying it and all that kind of good stuff. Also, another trick that I like to do is use dry shampoo, put it in my hair and then hit it with a blow dryer and then like zhuzh, you know what I mean? So that's what I love to do. Um, those are all of my favorite hair care products. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to shop any of them, they will all be linked down below for your convenience. So you can just click them. I think I do have a discount code with Zuby. I'm pretty sure that I do. Um, if I do, I will link it in the description box as well for you all and link everything about their brand down there as well. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.